Assalamualaikum dear friends welcome back to my channel Dr. Crochet today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful crochet belt simple and easy you can make this beautiful belt with little effort and I hope so, I hope so. we will make this very easily it's very simple and easy how to make this beautiful crochet belt first of all we need a crochet hook today I'm going to use 3 millimeter crochet hook and double plywood yarn colors of your own choice so I'm going to use pink color as a color B so let's start make a knot in chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 Now insert hook in the first stitch and make a slip stitch to join chain 3 that count as 1 double crochet. Now I am going to make 30 double crochets in this ring. 2, 3, 4, I have completed 30 double crochets in this ring. Now insert hook in the first stitch and make a slip stitch to join the ring. Now I am going to make chain 4. I count as 1 double crochet and a single chain. Then yarn over, make 1 double crochet in next stitch. chain 1 and 1 double crochet next stitch now I am going to make 15 double crochet spacing with 1 single chain for next 15 stitches now you can see I have completed 15 double crochets spacing with 1 single chain in 15 stitches now I am leaving work here take the opposite color you can use any color of your own choice that can contrast with your color so I'm using this green shade now chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 and 15 now I'm going to insert this loop in this ring and join with slip stitch to the first stitch you can see I have joined this slip uh, loop with this slip stitch and now again chain 3 that count as 1 double crochet and make 30 double crochets in this ring double crochets in this ring now insert hook in the top of the first stitch and make a slip stitch to join this ring now as you can see how does it look now chain 4 as we have done here chain 3 that count as one double crochet and one chain for spacing between double crochets now yarn over one double crochet in next stitch, one chain, and again one double crochet for next 15 stitches. I'm going to make one half double crochet, uh, one double crochet in next stitch, spacing with one single chain. Now it's done. You can see I have made 15 double crochets in 15 stitches. Now I'm going to make chain 3 that count as 1 double crochet and 1 
get my crochet in space again chain three one two three insert hook between the space and make a one slip stitch again one double crochet in next space between two double crochets chain three Insert hook in previous space and make a step stitch. Again, one double crochet in next space, chain three, insert hook, grab the yarn and make a step stitch. As you can see how does it look. Now I am going to complete all these. 15 double crochets with this stitch. Now here I have completed this thirty stitch in this 15 double crochets. Now it's time to make this thirty stitch in these double crochets. So again in 3 that count as 1 double crochet make 1 double crochet in next space between 2 double crochets chain 3 insert hook in the space between 2 double crochets and make a slip stitch to make this flurry stitch again make 1 double crochet in next space chain 3 Insert hook in previous space and make a slip stitch. So continue working with the same pattern and make flurry stitch in each of these double crochets. Here I have completed this flurry stitch in each of these double crochets. Here I have made these three more. This is following the same pattern. Now it's time to join them together. So here I have completed this flurry stitch, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and insert hook yarn over and insert hook in this space between two double crochets and make one double crochet, chain 3, and make a flurry stitch. Follow the same pattern and make slurry stitch in each of these together. As you can see, I have completed this and joined both of these pieces together. Now make three. Changes. 
chains yarn over and insert hook in this first space between two double crochets and follow the same pattern of the stitch chain three make the stitch here again one double crochet in next space chain three Double crochet. See, I have joined these two edges together. Now, cut off the extra yarn and continue working on this side. In these 40 double crochets, leaving the last one. Now, chain one. And now I'm going to join these two green pieces together. So chain one, insert hook in this loop. Time to join these two flowers together. So insert hook from the loop and make a slip knot. And three, one, two, three, and make a flurry stitch in this double crochet. Again, one double crochet in the next stitch. One. Three and make one more flurry stitch. You can see I have joined these flowers together and this one here. So, following the same pattern, I'm going to complete this side here and then again join this green pattern with this green part. You can see I have completed this side and now it's time to join these two pieces together. So now okay, I have made one single crochet, one chain in this second last double crochet. Now to join these two shells together so insert hook in this last loop grab the yarn and make a slip stitch now turn this over side turn this over and make 
one more single crochet one more chain and make a very stitch now make one double crochet chain three and this really stitch so it's done now chain one together and now overlapping this loop I'm going to make one chain here I have made so chain one in this loop in the stitch again chain one it's chain three now yarn over insert loop in this space between two double crochets we make one double crochet chain three and make a slip stitch to make this loop all you can see this a flurry stitch again double crochet and chain three to make this loop so here you can see I have joined two pieces here so instead of making here loop I have to join these loops together so So continue working with the same pattern and I'm going to join all of these four pieces together and these two as well. So let's see how does it look. Here I have joined all these pieces together as you can see how does it looks. Now I'm going to make strap here and at this end to tie them together like this so it's very simple I'm going to make now here I have attached these straps on both sides to tie this belt so it's done I hope you will like my video so keep watching goodbye have a nice day